Hey there, this is Will again from Untied Games, and I'm here with a new devlog. This is devlog number 11, and today we'll be looking at Atmocopter once again. If you've been following me, you know that I showed Atmocopter off at GlitchCon around the end of April. April was crazy busy for me with pixel art, mini games, and getting Atmocopter ready for the convention. Whew, it was a lot of work. But now that it's May, I feel like I'm doing it all over again. For real though, seriously. This month has been absolutely nuts. First of all, I did this top-down dungeon tile set for my patrons, which you can see behind me. It was the first time I've done one in a while, and uh, looking back there are a few things I'd change. I like it a lot though. Someday I'd like to come back to this one, and not only rework it a little, but also really expand it. Maybe sometime this summer. I'm also working out the details on a big upgrade to my Patreon, but that's going to be a whole other video. Next, I got in a car crash. Don't worry, I'm totally fine. I got rear-ended real hard, hard enough to total the car. So we had to go back and forth with the insurance company and the police and the car dealership. It was a mess. It was my first time in a crash, and it was, you know, kind of interesting, I guess, if you can call it that. Uh, I mean, it was an unwelcome experience, but that doesn't mean it can't be interesting, I guess. At least it had a happy ending, as you can see. It really opens your eyes, though. Uh, we, we risk our lives every day on the road. Remember that next time you're driving, and drive safe. And finally, I'm not only getting another cool tile set ready for release, but I'm also getting Atmocopter ready for another convention! That's right, I'll be showing Atmocopter off again on June 3rd to 5th at 2DCon. I'm super excited, and I have big plans for some new levels. If I can get them done in time, that is. <laughs> I'm also hoping to release a public demo of the game for 2DCon. You heard that right! You, yes you, will get a chance to play Atmocopter. Of course, if you're one of my wonderful patrons, you've already gotten a chance to play it. Anyway, like I said, today we're looking at Atmocopter. In this video, I'll be detailing what I learned from players at GlitchCon, and showing off levels 1 and 2. And this is only part 1! Next time, I'll be showing off a whole new level that you haven't seen yet, so stay tuned. Let's get started. Alright, here we are. This is Atmocopter. If you haven't seen it already, you play as a little helicopter robot. You can fly around, uh, bumping into stuff hurts you, of course. And uh, you can pick stuff up with your little arms. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, this is new since the last version. Uh, people really like this new transition. It spells out Atmocopter with all the little blocks. Also new is this uh, level title and level subtitle, which you can see kind of follows me as I move, so you can see it, and it disappears gradually. People like that, and uh, that'll be that'll be a nice little thing in the game. I also added a pause menu, which you can see here. Uh, it displays the level title, level subtitle, and how many nuts and bolts you've collected. Uh, bolts are also new in this version. I added bolts as just like an extra little collectible item. Uh, they're usually harder to get, some of them are very secret, so I'm hoping that adds a little a little replayability to the game. Uh, you know, maybe you gotta collect them all to unlock something, I don't know. People, uh, I observed at uh, GlitchCon, once again, people really loved collecting stuff, and I don't know if it's the animation or the fact that uh, little particles come out or the text appearing above your head, um, people just really loved it. So, why not do more of that, you know? Anyway, I'm just going to zip through level 1 here, because not much has changed. Um, a lot of bug fixes. Uh, let me check my notes here. I think there were zero crashes at GlitchCon, which is, I guess, a little milestone for me. <laughs> Usually I have at least one crash at a convention. Um, another thing that's changed in this build that uh, people really liked was you can just tap the button to release objects. Before what would happen is you would release the object and you just like immediately re-grab it like that. And uh, that was causing headaches for some players. Here's the key, I'm gonna grab that. And I'm just gonna bring it up to a safe place here so I can show you how grabbing works now. So before, if you were right in the center, you could easily grab the object. But now, you can even be, like, over here, and you can grab it just fine. Or, like, over here. 
And I did that because people were having a lot of trouble grabbing objects, and that, uh, that really surprised me. I guess I had gotten really good at it because I play Atmocopter so much. I mean, I made it, so I play it a lot. <laughs> So I guess I got really good at it, and I didn't really consider, you know, gee, maybe other people are having trouble with this part. So I finally fixed that, and uh, nobody had trouble grabbing stuff anymore. But uh, w one thing they did have a lot of trouble with, and this is a big change in level 1 here, you'll notice this giant sign in the background saying, don't forget the key. Guess what people did? They forgot the key! I, I couldn't believe it! Even with this giant sign, people still forgot the key. And uh, you need the key to complete the level, so it's, it's kind of a big problem if you forget it. So what I'm thinking about doing uh, as a change to level 1 is I'm going to remove this uh, thing with the three moving bumpers, and I'm going to raise up this entire section here with the conveyor belt, grinders, and spawner, so that uh, as you're coming through this area, you don't just have a chance to pass right over it. And I'm hoping that extra visibility will really uh, reinforce the fact that you need this key to complete the level. One other interesting thing I had people do was <laughs> I had people grab the key and uh, try to put it right here. They tried to line it up real nice. <laughs> and I thought that was really funny. I never, I never expected that. Um, so what I'll probably do is once the player grabs the key, I'll change this sign to something else. Like maybe bring the key to the goal, or so something similar to that. And before I proceed, I'd like to uh, just go right in here. That's right, this is a secret passage, and I'm sure I've shown this off on a devlog before. But uh, what surprised me was nobody nobody found it. Nobody found it at GlitchCon. And uh, you, can, you can maybe see, I don't know if the video quality is good enough, but you can sort of see... Uh, where that secret passage is based on the uh, tint of the block, it's a little bluer. Um, you can see this block that just faded there is a little bluer than the one right above it. And uh, I might have to make that a little more visible, but I don't want to make it too visible, you know, because then it's just like giving away all my secrets for free. And uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that, right? But maybe I can figure out some other way to make it uh, a little better. We'll see. Anyway, I'm just going to finish up level 1 here, nothing else is new or changed. I fixed the bug where uh, if you drop the key in the goal, it just freaks out, so I'm glad I fixed that, because uh, that, that's not good. Imagine in Mario, if you uh, grabbed the flagpole and Mario just like zipped all around and glitched out. That wouldn't leave a good impression with players, would it? So anyway, that's the end of level 1, and uh, let me check my notes here. Alright, we're moving on to level 2. Um, one thing I noticed is uh, a lot of people didn't know you have this boost ability. And uh, that's sort of okay for me because I'm not planning on having the players start with the boost ability. It's going to be like an upgrade that you get later. So it was good for me to see... Uh, people playing without it, but uh, it was also cool to see the people who did play with it, because the people who did use the boost consistently used it pretty successfully. Ooh, ouch. And uh, I don't know if I've said this before in another devlog, but one thing I'd like to do with the save points, uh, right now what you have to do is you have to descend into them, which uh, is actually kind of hard for some players. So what I might do is, instead of having it be something you descend into, I might have it just extend up to the ceiling as like a vertical save area. So all you would have to do is just fly right through it, and it would save and heal you. So we'll see. This is the uh, sort of major gimmick of the level, I guess, is these projectile cannons. And this is sort of the final section where the uh, key is on this conveyor belt that's moving quickly, and, uh, you know, since it's moving quickly, it might be a little hard to grab stuff like that. So I added this sign here saying conveyor belt status on, and my thought process was, okay, conveyor belt status on, that means there must be a way to turn it off, right? Well, that's what I thought. But in practice, 
Here's what players did. They just hovered around here and waited for the key to come to them. That, that really surprised me. So I'm not sure how I'm going to solve this problem in the future, but uh, I'll just uh, show you here really quick. This is the button that turns off the conveyor belt, and it makes this section way easier. It's, it's supposed to be sort of a puzzle, I guess, but it just didn't work, and uh, that kind of shocked me. So I'm thinking what I might do tentatively is, uh, in the background, maybe like right around here, I might put another sign saying like, emergency shutoff, and then pointing to the left. We'll see if that works. Because uh, if there's one thing I've noticed over, uh, over years of showing games off, people do not like to read. <laughs> But uh, maybe a little more text would help in this case, just to be a little more obvious. Uh, here's a crusher. I'm pretty sure I showed this in the last devlog. Uh, if you're underneath it, it will crush you. And uh, I'd like the next level to be all about crushers. That's why I put one here at the end of this level, which I think is a really cool design decision, if I do say so myself. But... Uh, yeah, there are still some glitches with crushers. I didn't have time to completely, you know, finish them. So the next level is a surprise, and you'll get to see it on the next devlog. So stay tuned, devlog number 12 will feature the new level, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's really cool, and uh, it's got really cool design decisions in it, and uh, the players at GlitchCon sure were surprised. Anyway. This is Will from Untied Games, thank you for watching, and uh, let's put the key in the goal. There we go. Oh yeah, got that floppy disk. Alright. Well, you guys, me and Atmocopter, we'll see you guys next time.